The Apple Vision Pro is one of the most hyped up devices of 2024. Despite being reviewed by every single major YouTuber and tech outlet out there, the number one thing preventing the growth of the Vision Pro is the development of meaningful apps that make it better. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own Vision Pro app in just five minutes. In order to run a Vision Pro app, you need to install Xcode, the default software to making iOS and Apple Watch apps. The new Vision Pro operating system, Vision OS, is very unique in its own way, as it works quite similarly to the programming language that you use to make iPhone apps on Xcode. When you go ahead and open up Vision OS and create a new project, you will be prompted with the ability to write code on the left side, while also being able to preview and see a screen that will show what the Vision Pro app will look like on your right. I'll place the code that I used to make my app in the description and comment section so you can go ahead and try this out. For this simple app, we're just going to use a simple command to display a website that will be home to my new app since we use a lot of stuff that's done in the cloud. With that being said, here's my app, Shapely. It's a simple block matching game that tests your mind with interesting puzzles and challenging patterns. Shapely is already available on the App Store right now for iPhones and iPads. One interesting thing about the Vision Pro is that you can actually move around in the simulator so you can actually feel like you're in the room seeing your actual app run like a normal device. It's pretty impressive to be able to see the Vision Pro at a different angle while still being able to work on other tasks around you. If you want to go ahead and check out your own website on a Vision Pro app, I'll leave the code in the comments section below. And all you need to do is replace my website with your website. In addition to actually moving around the simulator, you can also orient yourself in different positions to see what other things would look like if the app wasn't in front of you at the current moment, which means the app can actually stay in position while you go around and do other tasks around you. Now I'm gonna jump into the Apple Vision Pro simulator on Xcode. This actually showcases how the app will react like you would with the actual device, which means you can also escape the app to view other items in the Vision Pro. The simulator opens up into the museum location by default, but you can later change the locations to unique places to visualize your app in different places. So it will take a couple seconds to load, but once the app completely loads in, you can then be able to change the various positions like we did with the preview function on Xcode. And there we go. Shapely is now loaded in the actual simulator. So you can continue to go ahead and play around with the game like we did with the preview tab. But we can also move around and see the other things around us. In this case, the various art exhibits in the museum, which is pretty cool. One really incredible thing about running the Vision Pro app in an iOS simulator with Xcode is the fact that I can have multiple apps open at once. And this is really important because the Vision Pro is meant to multitask with various other applications. So here I have the screen that now towards the right side of my orientation. But if I decide to go ahead and exit Shapely, I can go ahead and pinch and move it around and adjust its size. So that way it's a little bit better. Here's the home screen of the Vision Pro, which is a lot different from what you would notice on an iPad or an iPhone. But with that, I can run another app. This is Recyclo, another thing I developed that should be out on the App Store very, very soon. It's a simple app that basically helps you recycle more effectively in our day-to-day -day lives. But I can also go ahead and move into another app, like the Settings app, where you can see the unique features that are now present on the Vision Pro that are a little bit different to other devices. If we go back to the home screen as well, there are other cool apps that we can go ahead and play around with. Keep in mind that there are more apps downloaded on the actual device as opposed to what's just on the simulator. You also have other environments that you can change later on as updates change. But 
Yeah, there are a couple other things that you can check out, like this drawing app called Freeform. If you open it up, it's kind of like a plain what, basic tab, but you can then add shapes like you normally would on other drawing softwares. Here, I'm just playing around with the way it looks with other shapes. But I really enjoy the fact that you can be able to really enhance and immerse yourself in the drawing process with a very big screen while still being present with the surroundings around you. In addition to actually using apps on the Vision Pro, you can also open up Safari to access the rest of the internet. Here we are pulling up a wonderful Mr. Beast video from a couple weeks ago. Streaming services like Disney Plus are already available on the Vision Pro as standalone apps, but other services like YouTube and Netflix currently don't have apps due to certain policies set by their host companies. But you can go ahead and view multiple tabs like you would with a normal Mac or iPad. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you want to help me out, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram to stay updated for the latest app updates. And also download Shapely, which is available right now on the App Store for iPhone users and iPad users. Good luck and let's see what awesome things y'all can make with the new Apple Vision Pro.